I lost a toenail. This this toenail. I lost it in like in 2010. Mm-hmm. You know, wait, you know, at the gym, boom, broke my nail, and then it never grew back again. Yeah. And then I remember that was in 2010. So I came to CPI 13 years later. So that was my my toe was like that, and I I wasn't thinking about it. After taking my stem cell, then it blows all, all the stuff that you guys gave me. Like one month later, I have a I have a brand new nail on my your toenail. Toe back. Back. <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean something because I remember you guys telling me, okay, that's gonna be circulating on your blood like for one year, and then they're gonna fix everything that they found, something like that. No, and I go, okay, you don't feel anything, but I saw that, and then for me it was crazy because I was I wasn't taking anything else but stem cells, and so. Something good was happening in, in, in my body. I knew. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we don't know how long the stem cells live IV inside you, you know. But we have tracked results for people with their continuous tissue growth. But to to grow a toenail when you didn't have a toenail, I, I would have never expected that to happen. I don't know if you've ever seen the pictures of the guy that cut his thumb off. They told that me. we grew back. They were going to amputate his thumb. He was a motorcycle rider got it caught in the motorcycle chain. He, he, he caught it on, on Saturday, but he was coming to us on Monday and he called and he's like, Hey, do you think you can do anything? They want to take, they want to amputate my thumb today. And we're like, I, we have no idea if it'll work. We'll try, you know what? The worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to have to amputate it. And, uh, his whole thumb grew back and even not his whole nail like yours, but even part of his, uh, thumbnail grew back it took some time you know it wasn't like oh stem cells and a month later his, his thumb grew back and reattached you know we we are willing to take the hard cases but i always want to be honest with people and say you know like i you know if we don't know we're gonna say i don't know because nothing works for everybody right that's true and, and there have been patients you know we've tried things and, and it didn't work but at least we gave them an option it's definitely worked for a lot more people then it didn't work. You know, you said you weren't walking for a year. Now you're walking. The other guy, they were going to, I can't even imagine losing your thumb. Think of all the things you couldn't do if you didn't have a thumb. Mm-hmm. Could ride his motorcycle. I mean, maybe, but he wasn't going to race, be a, a, a racer anymore. So it, it's really cool. You know, it's like every, every couple of weeks of, you know, once a month, somebody comes back with like a crazy story of, you know, Hey, you didn't come down here to fix your toe, but by the way, <laughs> My toenail grew back after 10 years, you know? Yep. So uh, we had a patient um, who had Tourette's, Tourette's syndrome. Okay. And he um, he didn't come here to get treated for Tourette's. He came for a shoulder or something like that. Uh, about, about a month after doing his stem cells, his Tourette's went away. And he was like a 40-year-old guy, had it his whole life. And just called me with his business partner, just like so emotional because he used to struggle to talk on the phone and now he could talk on the phone like a completely normal person. And you know what? I'll be honest. It could be placebo. I don't, you know, we don't know, like how could the stem cells have fixed Tourette's, but whether it was the stem cells or his mind, either way, he's healed and he's really happy. But the the same happened with my, I just don't want to make a claim because I don't have any evidence of why, you know, we don't know why that could have happened, you know? It happened. Clearly it happened. Uh, his whole family is super excited. But I would, you know, if somebody else came and said, can you can you heal my Tourette's? I'd say, I don't know. We have to try. I don't exactly. know. I've exactly. never seen this happen before. We don't know the mechanism behind why it happened. So we don't know if it's duplicatable. But for at least one person, it's completely changed him and his family and his business life. 